Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about operators for fractions. And we're going to be talking about the basic ones such as multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Last time we talked about the geometric understanding of fractions. We learned that you can represent a fraction as a piece of a shape, such as a circle. And so this time we're going to go ahead and start with multiplication because multiplication and division are slightly easier for fractions than addition and subtraction. So we're going to start with one over two times three over four. And the way that we do this is that we simply multiply across. So one times three is equal to three. Two times four is equal to eight. So we end up with three eighths. And to show you a slight geometric understanding for this, we have one half times three quarters. So we're going to take a half of three quarters. And so when we do that, we can go ahead and chop each of these. And now we take half of those. So one, two, three. So we end up with three over eight. Now let's go ahead and do another example. We're going to take two thirds and we're going to multiply this by seven ninths. Here again, we start by multiplying across. Two times seven is equal to 14. Three times nine is equal to 27. And now we have to see if we can reduce this. And so the easiest way is to see if they have any common dividers. So does three go into both of these? It goes into 27, but it does not go into 14. And nothing else goes into them. So therefore, the most simple way to write this, or the most reduced form of this fraction, is 14 over 27. Sorry. Now let's go ahead and talk about division. I'm going to use these same numbers here. So 1 half divided by 3 over 4. And so there's a simple rule that we do here. We keep this as one half. We change this sign into multiplication sign. And then we flip this to be four over three. So keep, change, flip. And now we can go ahead and do our multiplication that we learned before. One times four is equal to four. 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Here, we can go ahead and reduce. 2 goes into both of these. So 4 over 6 is equal to 2 over 3. And let's go ahead and show that slightly in a better way. So we are going to take 4 and divide it by 2 over 6 divided by 2. And now 2 goes into 4 twice, and 2 goes into 6 three times. And that's how we get 2 thirds. Let's go ahead and do this example now. But let's switch them. So 7 over 9 divided by 2 over 3. Again, keep, change, flip. So this equation is now going to be changed into 7 ninths times, change, 3 over 2, flip. 7 times 3 is 21. I'm going to write it down here. 21. And now 9 times 2 is 18. 
3 goes into both of these, so again, we need to divide. And we're doing this to reduce it into a more simple form. 3 goes into 21 7 times. And 3 goes into 18 6 times. So we get 7 over 6 as our final answer there. Now let's go ahead and talk about addition and subtraction. We're going to take our same numbers that we have been using. 1 over 2 plus 3 over 4. So here, we need to find common denominators because we, can't, we don't know how to add this without having a common denominator. And so one way to do that is to multiply these two numbers. And I will go ahead and show you that. So 1 half, 2 times 4 is 8. So we're going to do 1 half times 4 over 4 plus 3 over 4 times 2 over 2. And here we're going to get 4 over 8. And here you can very clearly see that that is equal to 1 half plus 6 over 8. And now we add the top two and we keep the bottom as is. And then we reduce. So this is equal to 5 over 4. Another way to do this is to see that we can just multiply 1 half by 2 over 2 and we would get a denominator of 4. So let's go ahead and do that now. 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 3 over 4. And again, you can clearly see 2 over 4 is equal to 1 half. And now we add 2 and 3, which is 5, and we keep our denominator the same. 5 over 4. Sometimes you'll get lucky, and you'll see that all you need to do is multiply one side to be equal to the other side. However, sometimes you will have to do the longer method here. Now, let's go ahead and show this same thing again with subtraction. Let's do 3 over 4 minus 1 over 2. If we did 1 over 2 minus 3 over 4, we would get a negative number, since 3 over 4 is bigger than 1 half. Okay, and again, we are going to get common denominators. So we're going to multiply 3 over 4 by 2 over 2 minus 1 half times 4 over 4. And here we get 6 over 8 minus 4 over 8. And then we do 6 minus 4, which is equal to 2, and we keep the denominator the same. And here we can simplify. And again, since this, den this number, this uh, denominator, can be multiplied to equal this denominator, we don't have to multiply both sides. We can simply multiply this side to equal this side. Let me show that now. 3 over 4 minus 1 over 2 times 2 over 2 is equal to 3 over 4 minus... 2 over 4, which is equal to 1 fourth. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you found this useful. Thank you. Have a good day.